previously on Balls. Hi, Gria. I'm good, thanks. And how are you, Darren? Ah, very good, thanks. What a lovely Skype link as well. You got a camera on that thing? Ah, uh, you don't want to see me. No, we do. We do, <laughs> Gria. Come on. I've been on the court this morning, so <laughs> let me see if I can find it on this thing. Gria, it's not like we haven't seen what you look like when you've been on the court before, right? Uh, okay. All right, you turn that on. We'll be there chatting to you in the next there few. We go. There you oh, are. Chris Stevens Woo! is coming up next. Those sports headlines were brought to you by Broadlink for reliable business connectivity. How are you doing? I'm very good, and you? Uh, good to have you back on the air. Yeah, and nice to see you again. Last time was on a on a TV show we did where you came uh, came and popped in. And weren't you living in Botswana then? Yes, that's correct. We've been back in Joburg for the last nearly five years now. Right, you were, you, you were doing, uh, you were on a bush farm or game farm there or something in the Okavango. Yeah, yeah, safari company up there. How do you give that up, Greer? Explain to me how you stopped doing something <laughs> like that. 25 years of uh, roughing it is, um, it's nice to be back in the city. Uh, well, I, I've actually, I'm cityed out at the moment, but um, yeah, it was nice to have the amenities that were around, but at the moment, uh, I'd like to be, I, I'd like to go backwards and forwards, let's put it that way so you've got the option of getting back to the bush when you need it just to like get out of the rat race and uh and then when you need the rat race you can come back home yeah did right but um yeah i'm a fisherman as well so my boat's still up in botswana on the chobi oh, oh lovely <laughs> whereabouts on the chobi by the way uh what what what, what part in the, in the caprivi strip there somewhere just sort of where the five rivers meet uh kasani um, kasani yeah yeah we got old friends in kasani and I'm actually going up next week for two or three days and then a big fishing comp in Namibia in August. Yeah. Been up there. Uh, actually went up there on, uh, it was a birthday trip, I think. I went up there with, with my wife. And, okay. they, and uh, one of the lodges in Palila, you must know, you oh, must know it. Palila, well, my yeah. son worked there for a while. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was yeah. for Sarah's 13th birthday, eh? You, you, <laughs> what are you laughing at? Graham, so, you don't perhaps have space for us one day to come I'm and visit. I'm busy telling the story <laughs> oh, still. Oh, sorry, not you finished. No, no, we actually, and they took us out on a boat and they put us on the sand. They prepared this whole lunch for us on the sandbank in the middle of the Chobe. Or yeah. what was the other, Kwando, I think it was. And a uh, nice puppy. And, um, oh, oh, I mean, sorry, this is Nunu. No, no, the Jack oh, Russell. Sweet. There we go. Oh, I love Jack Russell's career. And then they, they drop us on the sandbank. They've got umbrellas there. They've got a table. There's beautiful food, everything. They, uh, they drop us there. So we think, okay, well, they'll just keep watch. No, they take get in the boat and they bugger off. I will die. No. Well, that was romantic. Come on. Yeah. Uh, what's oh, a, what's romantic about neck? sitting there, what you're worrying about when a croc's about to oh, come no. out of the water or a hippo? <laughs> They're probably yeah, scared of you. Well. <laughs> I've never Why ever that you'd get into the water. Crapped myself as much as I did that day. Oh my goodness! I had my phone. I was chicken. Please, I had one bar of signal. Please don't go searching or no service. Otherwise, uh, I would have been yeah beside myself. But it is an awesome part of the world. Really, is if you haven't been up there, you must do it. I tell you what, it's my favourite part. Um, I often go up through past Impalila onto the Zambezi just by myself. And I go for an hour or 45 minutes to an hour up, and then I just drift and I fish the whole day just coming home. See, that's the way to do it. And, and, uh, and what are, I mean, you were in the safari business then basically for, for all that time, 25 years. Are you now retired or are you still working? <laughs> Greer? Um, I'm, I was involved with South African tennis. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm there. All right. Are you, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. Yeah, no, okay. I mean, we can see you and hear you. Okay. Um, and uh, for four and a half years, and now, um, given that up, um, I was Fed Cup captain and all that. But now I'm helping. We're trying to do a thing for Houting Central Junior Tennis, and we're doing a golf day. You still play golf? <laughs> yes, we try. That's not great, but we try. No, we're doing one on the third of August. I'm trying to raise money. Sorry, I didn't get that. No, no, we. Can. I think it might be a delay on the Skype. Uh, no, we do play. Our game's not great, but we love playing golf. Yeah, no, we're trying to raise money for development in Gauteng Central. Okay. So, I've never put on a golf day, but what the hell, we're going for it. There we oh, go. Lovely. Well, good luck with that as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, let us know when, when, when it is. Simon and I always book for a game. Okay, well, I've got to get your email. I'll send you an invite. There I'll give go. it to you, Gray. I'll give it to you. Okay. The, the email. Yeah. yeah. You sure. can give Gray my email, but what I'm perturbed about is that you just easily just offering people email and phone numbers, John. Greer's a legend, I'll give her anything, I promise you. <laughs> anyway, so uh, 
Now, I wanted to ask you, we were talking about this the other day, uh, speaking of Fed Cup. Pat Pretorius and Brenda Kirk, are they still yeah. around? Where are they? Pat, I know Pat got very much involved in golf at one stage. Well, she's a fantastic golfer. Um, Pat's still around. She plays at Wanderers. Mm. I played a few games with her. And um, she's had an amazing battle. She's an amazing lady. She's had a battle with cancer and has been fighting it for a number of years now. Uh, but she's a stunning lady and got the wicked sense of humor. Yeah. And then uh, Brenda, we, we don't know where Brenda is. We'd love to know. So Johnny, she... we tried. I tried everything and we couldn't get hold of her. Do you know where she is? Though? No, no one knows where she is. Um, Brenda, do you know why we ask about Brenda you know, if any, Pat Pretorius? If anyone knows anything, it'll be Bruce Davidson, and he always helps us. And Bruce, uh, you know, also tried his best for us. They yeah. won the Fed Cup, the last South yeah. African pair to uh, win the Fed Cup. And who else was part of that team, the doubles team? Uh, uh, Greta Delport. That's right, Delport, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All Greta right, Delport. so yeah, that, and that was in the 70, 76, if I'm not mistaken, or 74. Yeah. When was it? No, it was, I think, about 72. 72. 71. No, no, yeah, because I started playing. 73, 74, and they were kind of my predecessors. Yeah, yeah, in, the, in those days, because they, they did all that, yeah. And uh, if people are trying to remember, obviously, Greer was, uh, was our leading uh, tennis player, one of our great tennis players. We really was, uh, you know, we were really rooting for you to uh, go all the way and win a, win a Wimbledon. And what was the furthest you got in one of the Grand Slams? You know, you've got to the, what, quarters or semis at Wimbledon? Quarters and singles, and we've got two Wimbledon titles. Doubles. Yeah, doubles, mixed doubles. Yeah. Yeah. Who who did you play with in the mixed? Bob Hewitt and Virginia Wade in the doubles. That's right, Virginia yeah. Wade. So was that 1979, go. Greer? 77 was our first ah. one. Sorry, John, your Wikipedia is a bit wrong there. No, no, I've got a Wikipedia. I've got <laughs> <laughs> Wimbledon yeah, in front of me. 79. It's 77. Ah. Okay, and then I injured my knee in 78, so we okay. couldn't play. But you did. You, I mean, you carried on playing with that brace on for uh, for a few years, didn't you? Yeah, the rest of my career because it actually made medical history. Yeah, uh, yeah. it was the forerunner of what the reconstruction they're doing now. If you and Nicole was way too young; she wasn't even born when when you were basically <laughs> a top ten women's tennis player in the world. Uh, it basically just picture the scene: Greer Stevens playing tennis, grass courts, Wimbledon, what with what looked like a mini Terminator hanging onto her <laughs> knees. That's what, uh, seriously, I mean, that, that was this big yeah. metallic steel brace that you used to run. Yeah. I, don't, I still don't know how you managed to do that. The, the modern ones are a bit lighter, but that one thing was, you know, vintage, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It was well, called the Lennox Hill Brace, and the, they've got a, I've got a cartoon here with um, one of the American uh, basketball players yeah. that are coming up to his waist, and he's wearing the same oh, one. So. Like, <laughs> is the knee fine, Greer? Um, yes and no. Uh, obviously, it's had a lot of years of bone on bone, so I've got a bit of arthritis in it, but I've um, been working with another orthopedic guy, John Patricius, and we've kind of broken uh, ground with um, platelet treatment into it, and it's absolutely changed my life because I walked in and said to him, I want a knee replacement. He said, no. So I said, you can't say no to me, and he said, no, you're too active still. Well, and he so said, experiment. Talking about all of that um, and yep. knees and all that stuff, Cheryl Calder just sent a, sent a, a tweet. tweet saying, yeah. please send my regards to Greer from Japan. Yeah, Dr. Cheryl oh, Calder nice. sending her she regards. She is an amazing lady, isn't she? She is. She's unbelievable. She's fantastic. I don't know why we don't use her more in sport in South Africa. Well, apparently a lot of a lot of our guys are, but I think more and more people are learning, finding out about Dr. Cheryl Calder. Obviously, she was very part and parcel of our World Cup win in 2007. She's been working with Ernie. Uh, and look, I mean, uh -huh. look at his performance in the yeah. uh, in the, op the U.S. Open. So that seems to have borne fruit. She's now working with Eddie Jones at Suntory. I think she's done some stuff with the other teams. But yeah, I mean, she's certainly, iGym certainly has something uh, that does work because the more she gets involved with people, the more it seems to be working. Anyway, she sends a regard. She's in Japan at the moment and she is listening. Oh, well, I send them back to her. She is great and she's working with some of two of my little kids and... I think she is one of the best things that's ever happened in sport. Yeah. Yes. Still the only back to back World Cup winner in rugby yeah. mm -hmm. as well. True. No, right. Now, Greer, um, as we were just as, as saying, so obviously quarters at Wimbledon in the singles and uh, singles achievements in other Grand Slams. You got to a few semis, didn't you? No, a few quarters. All quarters. Um, I seem to 
the only person of the top ten I didn't beat was Martina, and I seem to run into her quite often. I was in her part of the draw. Yeah. I've had some seven sixes, seven six, seven six matches against her, but um, yeah. So that 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 yeah, um, yeah. So Wimbledon was always my favourite. Um, it's it's something that is magical. There's nothing on this planet that can come close to Wimbledon. It's mm. It speaks to you, and there's no other word for it. Yeah, you won Eastbourne or one of the pre-Wimbledon tournaments a few times, uh, didn't you? Uh, semis or final? I can't, Darren. I'm absolutely. You're not a stats person. I'm not a stats person. I can't give it to you. They go to Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were one of my heroes as a as a as a kid at school, still growing up when uh, when you when you were playing in the late seventies and the early eighties. It was always great to watch you. And nice that uh, you know have a South African we could uh, we could root for in the uh, in the big tournaments. Now uh, you've been watching much Wimbledon. Where are you at the moment? This looks like you're in your dungeon or your basement. Uh, this is my little office at the bottom end of our house. We live in Saxon World. Okay. Nice. What is that on the top left-hand side there above the boxes? Is that a, like a monitor or it's another box, security camera or what is that? My office is shocking, so you're not supposed to look at that. Uh, while you're talking, we're looking around to see what's, uh, what's yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst our 38 listeners, we've got 21 burglars that are just monitoring the show to see what you've got in your house. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Uh, you've been watching much Wimbledon. I uh, see at the moment Federer and Eugenie are on there. Two two sets enough. Nothing. Federer and yeah. five one. So it looks like he's walking through that one. Federer uh, six one six two I'm two one. I'm watching you while I'm talking to you, so don't worry about that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Johnny's five one up now. Uh, update your uh, score. Okay. It's on TV live now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who do you fancy for the uh, for the women singles? Hey, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a very good question. Um, I've got to say Serena. Um, I would prefer one of the other three ladies to win. I think Serena's got the mm. toughest semi-final with Azarenka. But, um, you know, that Serena, she's 6-2 up on Azarenka in, in stats there, on head-to-heads. So, but, you know, that's, it's a tough one. Serena is... Um, she's got that look about her this year, hasn't she? Yeah, but she should have lost twice already, hey? She's been taken to the cleaners in three sets quite often and you know what I wonder sorry we've got someone who wants to disappear uh, so I Simon wonder, Simon did that about half an hour ago <laughs> okay <laughs> I just want <laughs> yeah <laughs> gotta go you gotta go <laughs> <laughs> sorry carry on yeah um, I just wonder if she is match fit enough um, I'm hoping yeah I I, I yeah, I would not. I would like to see one of the youngsters win. To be honest with you, mm. uh, Radvanska, I love. I think she's a little fighter, and I think that she will. I just, if Serena's there, I don't know if she could take the power of Serena on grass. And also the fact that Serena's been there. If she gets to a final. She knows what it's like. It's it's kind of like her. You know her second home being, and and you know what Wimbledon's like when you get these these people that have won two or three. You know, getting to that final is almost like being in your in your in your backyard. It's like being at your home. It's it's it, it just adds so much more to it. Yeah, that center court is once you've been there and once you've experienced it, you, you own know, it. You own it, and winning on it mm. um, is absolutely incredible. And you know. Aggie is also she's there, but um, she's tiny and. But I just wonder how strong mentally Serena is at the moment. If she can take it through. All right, and as far as the men's go, obviously we've lost Nadal, so a lot of people are saying Djokovic. But uh, I, I've, I've also got just been watching a little bit of Federer, and he seems to have that look about him as well. And uh, I'm really hoping Roger can take another one. Me too. Where, Me too. where, where, Me too. where are you in this one? I'm a Fed fan completely. Um, I find I'm not particularly a Djokovic fan because I often feel if he's in a tight situation, he puts, as I say, the dying swan act on, you know, he's tired, he's desperate, you know, that type of thing. And do you want to beat somebody because you're conning them or do you want to beat somebody because you're better than them? Yeah. And you know, Federer's got all the class. Djokovic, I think, does pull some of the, um, the strings a little bit when he's under pressure. and. No, no. Shirt open. Come on. Murray? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can the British have a winner finally this year? Murray? Nah. Uh-huh. You think so? Nah. 
Is it? Oh, come on. <laughs> I think Murray Murray lacks BMT when it comes to Wimbledon. I think the you know the, how much the, pressure is going to be on him as well. In Whoa. front of those crowds on Murray's mound, I think that I think it gets to him. Hey, if you're British, wouldn't it get to you too? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tweeted, "I love you, Roger Federer, but you could drag this out a bit." Yeah. <laughs> I've got to now wait until I get home late and I'm to, to watch Murray. Yeah, Greer, <laughs> isn't it amazing though when you uh, the way things go? I mean, when when Roger was basically racking them up one after the other. People started turning against, or not against him necessarily, but started all backing his opponents because they were like looking for someone that could topple the king. And now, when you get to a point where you know uh, we get now, he's won how many? How many has he won? Is it where, how many Wimbledon's has he won? Is it five? Five, six. Five, five, six, six, six. six. Ball six. Won five yeah. Because Ball got married after his fifth one. He said if he won again, he would marry Mariana. Yeah, which is uh, something he should not have maybe, maybe done. Do yeah, that. he should have thought carefully about <laughs> that one. Um, but you know, it's amazing now. You see now everybody that you speak to now wants Roger to win that one more. You know, they're all back behind Roger again. It's amazing mm. what happens when you're suddenly not, not, mm. uh, not the king of the pile anymore. Then how people's allegiances change. Yeah, no, my allegiance has not changed from Roger. He, to me, is a class act. He's done amazing things for tennis. He set great examples for our children coming up. Um, and he's South African. I know. What, you know, what more, what more do you want? want? Yeah, I mean, if, if the British can, if English can claim uh, Andy Murray while he's still in the competition, we can claim Roger Federer while he's still in Wimbledon as well. Yeah, I know. Look, he's, um, he used to come out. I'm not sure if he's coming out here for so many holidays anymore. His mom but, still uh, lives, yeah. No, they they live in Switzerland. Oh, did she move yeah. there eventually? Yeah, yeah. No, his father's. They've lived there for quite a while. Oh, I thought she was still around here. Yeah. No, no, no. They. I think all his life he's lived in Switzerland. Oh, They've okay. got some interest in PE though. Yeah, I think Elizabeth. Well, someone has to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, but Greer, you'd you'd have to think that if this was if Federer is going to do it again, this would be his year because I think if he has to come up against Nadal in the final, I think. Uh, well, he's not going no, to. He, no, he wouldn't. No. Ha, if, if he if plays, yeah, if he plays Nadal in yeah. the final, yeah. I think Nadal's got the mental edge over him when it comes yeah. to finals at Wimbledon. I mean, you saw how they dragged, how they've dragged it out. I'd back him against Djokovic yeah. to cause a bit of an upset. I, I, I kind of disagree with you. I think Djokovic may have his number a little bit. Um, how he faded in at the French as well against Djokovic. Mm. If you have a look, the last times they've played, Federer's gone up mm. and then has lost. I'm mm -hmm. hoping I'm wrong because, um, yeah. It's but don't forget, the one crown that Roger has not won is still coming up in two weeks' time. Wow. What's that? Don't forget that one. Which one's that? Yes. Olympics. Yes. Oh, of course, yes, the Olympics. He's the gold medal. He's won yeah. Everything else, that is the one I think he's the hungriest for. Yeah. And there's a little trivia thing for you. The first okay. Olympic tennis gold medal winner was. He's from... Also Swiss. Mark, eh? Mark Rousset. Was it Mark Rousset? Wow. Yeah. Swiss oh. won the first gold, uh, gold medal in tennis. I think we got, a, we got a silver or a bronze or whatever in, in the first one with Wayne and... Um, yeah. Who was playing with him in the mixed doubles. Um, it wasn't Yvonne for Mark. She wasn't around then still. Uh, uh, she's, she's called Amanda like Kutzer. Amanda. Amanda, yeah. Yeah. There we go. So a little bit of trivia there. It's still going with Serbia in the third set, by the way. You were just speaking about May and Djokovic. Um, May leads 2-1. Okay, yeah, thank you for that. Yes, thanks, pleasure. Huh? Are they set all? Or six, six, four, six, one, uh, two, one, no, no, Djokovic is two, Djokovic, two, Djokovic, two, two sets up. Djokovic, two sets up, yeah. Uh, Against? Okay. Against Mayer. Mayer, okay. Cool. Yeah. Who's in Murray? Listen, Greer, it's, it's always great to catch up with you. It's nice to speak to you again. It's been uh, many, many years, and you're looking very well. Uh, glad yeah, that life you. is treating you so well, and uh, we wish you all the best. Thanks for chatting to us today, and enjoy the rest of Wimbledon. Okay. And Super. Let, and let us know when that golf day is going to be happening, okay? Listen, send me the email. I'll get you invite right away. John, Thanks, Greer. I'll do, it, I'll do it for you now, Greer. Yeah. Thank I mean, you so much. <laughs> Johnny will send you my email address, phone numbers, and also numbers of John Smith, Victor Matfield, anybody you want. <laughs> All right. He just shares it around freely. Thanks a lot, okay. Greer. Cool. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks, Bye. Bruce. There we go. Greer Stevens joining us on Skype from uh, Johannesburg, talking Wimbledon. Very interesting lady. Very sweet yeah. lady as well. Right. We the best on three. One, two, three. We, we the best. best. 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays to Fridays live on balls.co.za. Balls.co.za